Spotify tror jeg. Applaus! Yes. What's up guys, Iba Jao here from Copenhagen and we are here for a special day and we will retire the t-shirt of Michael Mays, you know, like little bit like NBA style. So it's actually very cool, very cool initiative from uh, our coach and the Danish players, you know, to do this and to um, actually, yeah, just uh, show some respect for a player that gave so much for Denmark and the Federation, etc. So it's actually very cool. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. So yeah, that's why today you have a cool Eva. By the way guys, this is my new rubber, new zone. I'm telling this now because uh, I just find out that it was not pronounced news, but new zone. So I'm very happy <laughs> to, that you guys told me that. But yeah, go and check my review on the new rubber, uh, new zone, uh, link on the description. Okej, okay. jag får väl, egentligen är det inte jag som ska snacka här. Jag har inte varit med på hela din resa. Men jag är blivit övertygad om att vi hade inte suttit här idag. Visst det inte hade varit för dig. Den målen du spelar bortennis på och gjorde bortennis populärt i Danmark. Det är ju den som gör att de här drängarna och pion har drömmar. Därför tänkte jag att idag så kommer vi att, jag är ju svensk, vi är goda till ishockey, eller vi var det varje fall tidigare. Så vi ska upp din tröja i loftet, så du inte kan komma tillbaka, för då hänger den där. Jag lovar. <laughs> lite, vi tänkte lite med att vi måste ju ge dig någon form av gäver. Men du har ju allt. 
Jag menar, du har kärlighet och du har pengar och det ena Så att vi tänker någonting som vi kan ge dig. Som i vart fall inte du kan få tag i själv. Det är våra minnen. Och jag har inte varit med på hela resan, men jag har faktiskt varit med på vissa delar. Så att jag ska berätta två minnen. Och det ena minnet, det ska inte värderas på någon måde, det är kunskap. Det är att i Helsingborg, rekordspelen, länge sedan, men var tio år. Så sitter jag och Peter Sartz på, på tidskåplatsen. Och så ser jag till Sartz. Visst han där inte blir god, då blir ingen god. Så ser Sars, Sars knästört alldeles för dålig form. Och det var ju starten på ett långt samarbete mellan er och sen kom ihop på det och så vidare. Men det är rätt fett, man vet aldrig vad framtiden bringar. Nu som fick jag skulle alla samma om mitt minne. Det första, sån riktig, vad ska man säga, sån personlig minne, det var till mitt äh, första senior-EM. Jag tror ikke, jeg var fyldt. Jeg var nok 16 stadigvæk og var blodtaget som en, der skulle ind og lære lidt. Øh, og selvfølgelig, du gik, hen, du gik hen der og vandt i, men det jeg husker allerbedst, det var faktisk det at komme ind på et dansk landshold, hvor der var som ung så stor en stjerne, men der var slet ikke nogen... Øh, altså, du var så god til at byde, byde mig velkommen, og der var slet ikke øh, hvad skal man sige, eller noget. Jeg var så positivt overrasket over den stemning, der var på et seniorlandshold og så god, øh, ja, god atmosfære, der var. Øh, så gjorde vi det, vi to i hold, og du kom til single, og det var selvfølgelig hold, der måske var aller sjovest for os andre. Øh, men så kom til single, som du selvfølgelig havde set endnu mere frem til. Øh, men du skulle kun med venstrehåndet, og jeg er den eneste venstrehånd, så jeg, jeg fik ligesom æren af, synes jeg, at spille ind med dig inden hver kamp. Og jeg kan huske, øh, kommer vi frem til semifinalen, hvor du skulle møde Timo, og jeg var ret nervøs, fordi jeg ville, jeg ville gerne ligesom lave en god opvarmning, inden du skulle møde Timo. Og jeg var simpelthen så lettet, da du vandt første sæt, fordi jeg tænkte, okay, fy her, nu er det ikke på grund af et dårligt enspil. Så det er bare meget sjovt for en, en 16-årig, hvordan man kommer ind og tænker, når man skal ind og, og træne med, med en stor stjerne, så at sige. Eva? Um. Yeah, me it's the same with Fontaine. Like, we came from the same place, and it was the same, like, we had, like, the same poster, and everything like and for, for me it's just like you were more than a table tennis player like you were uh, as you said like your personality like you have the result but the personality that you had next to this is what to strike us like when we were young and we all actually want to have you know your style of play your serve you know as you say your shots and everything and me i remember as a kid i was always looking um, like youtube you know videos of uh, your highlights and everything And of course, what like uh, there is two points that I remember. Like uh, as a young player, it was definitely against how how shy, you know, when you fell off and we played. We recreate this this point many times, and then also this no look against Schlager, you know, the, in the final uh, Europeans. So yeah, for yeah, like for me, it's just uh, yeah, this was like the thing that I I remember when I was young and when I arrived here. Uh, is actually your commitment into uh, te- into your table tennis and your professional professionalism that strike me like uh, the most and yeah your uh, yeah your love also for the for the game you know and this is this is something that uh, yeah that I remember from from you. Well, that was cool, guys. Uh, very nice uh, ceremony, I think. It was like okay, small but very intimate, and it also you know shows you know to one player that actually give, and you also show you know to one player that actually gave a lot to uh, to the the ball tennis that his career is not mean mean to to some people. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm sure that he he appreciate it, and um, and now we'll all go have lunch and uh, celebrate it a little more. 
that's no, but that's why it's quite interesting to know. I mean, you, yeah, I know one. I, I for sure know one. No, but the best yeah. and the, the like that you went to Olympics in Beijing too early. Well, well. Yeah. I was in really, really good shape. Yeah, before Beijing. And you stay too long there, and then was, oh. this was the biggest, biggest preparation mistake of all time. Okay. Uh, but because you felt you could make a medal or like something big, you were already okay. At, at that time, you didn't, you yeah. didn't. But I was like feeling and yeah. like in you practice and training camps, yeah. and I was like, um, I remember I had one uh, 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 practice match with Vladi, and he was at that time really good and very difficult for me. But I killed him, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But what I could have wished for, yeah. this is not maybe a regret, and this is also who I am a little bit, but, but I met m many very important people early in my career who helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. But at that time, many didn't know. But of course, the injury situation has stopped me from. Mm -hmm. Quite many things. Yeah, I think. Uh, you mean early on or later on? Like this, I had like my first knee operation, yeah. Um, yeah. and then they wanted me to play 12 days after semi-final playoff. Oof, it's a uh, risky game. When you're 18, yeah, this was I could have wished there was yeah, someone some physio said, yeah. or like, but no, you're not ready wrong, to play. Yeah. This is you are like 18 years old. You have a long career. You yeah, okay. uh, because my mindset was, oh, yeah, of course I want to play. Yeah, you trust. Yeah, them, I mean, so. Uh, so so I could have wished there were some people at that time yeah. who said, Michael, yeah. we know you want to play, but <laughs> yeah, okay. you don't. Yeah. Uh, and you think this is the like the beginning of the. Yeah, but at that time there was not a lot of focus uh, for the physical things. For I mean, yes. for for for. I remember when I arrived in Dusseldorf, I was like more skinny than I'm now, and I was really not ready for that kind of training. Yeah. And Mario just said, "Okay, you are in the hall. Monday two times, Tuesday two times, Wednesday two times, yeah. Thursday two times, Friday one time, and game in the weekends." But I was, I was really not yeah. prepared. I yeah. mean, today, today this would never happen. Yeah, you can. Today you will take a 16-year-old and you say you need stronger legs, you need yeah, stronger body, and you will. I, I mean, will I came to pra uh, from practicing with Alan a uh, little bit and some training camps, and then you go to Vladi, Rossi, uh, yeah. everybody was there, Xiangmi, uh, and and they were of course much better, but it was. It was too hard for me. Yeah. Uh, also with the technique. With the technique and with everything, how I played and the uh, new environment and everything. Um, so, but on the other side, it's also who I am. You know, sometimes yeah. you, I, I push the limits yeah. uh, a little bit too far, uh, or I did at least. Uh, but on the other side, yeah, you have no regrets about it, you just went for it. I think also because sometimes there, I mean, there, there, there is a reason yeah. why many good players don't have any medals at big events. And what I'm most proud of is... I would say this is like uh, Jonas just said before, but it was not only because of me, but I think we had many years. It took also a few years, but I was maybe a big part of, you took table tennis in Denmark from the basement to the hall. <coughs> like, beginning of my career, I played table tennis. Ah, yeah, what do you do? Yeah. Besides, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, so, what is your job? still ask me that. Yeah, like, it's a hobby. You <laughs> don't do it no, for but, real. Yeah, yeah, this you do in the basement, or, uh, and then, so, let's after say, after, yeah. after a few <laughs> years, I didn't get that question. Yeah. That often anymore. Uh, yeah, change the mentality. Change a little bit the mentality and how people uh, looked at table tennis uh, in Denmark, at least. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, and to, to how to say, be able to move the sport in some kind of I don't more know professional. Better, more professional. 
What's yeah. better? Mm. A different era also. I mean, different area and, uh, and this was before social media and uh, all yeah, that kind yes. of uh, things. Uh, but but And it's still struggling today, it's much better. But, but I think if you have to succeed in sport, <clears throat> it's not only your results. No. I mean, you have to be very aware of it. There is a more to that package. I was not thinking about it at that yeah. time, but when I look back, uh, uh, I, 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 I probably got some opportunities uh, because I was maybe a different personality than many yeah. table tennis players. Uh, yeah. All coaches is like, oh, before, was, everything was better and greater. And, uh, yeah. But I think, and because I, I think really the top level, for sure, the best ones, they are as good as the best ones are now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when uh, mm-hmm. Baldner, he was as high level as now you have Malong and yes. Manchukin. Yes, sure. But of course, the, let's say from 50 to 200, yeah, this is yes, probably yes, I would yes. say this is what has yeah, li- yeah. really yeah. lifted Valdi, t- Valdi told me this. You could sleep until law 16. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, it's just yeah. that you're in there, in law 16 yeah. you will go. This is for sure. Today yeah. you can, you, if you have two negative thoughts, you're out in the first <laughs> round. <Yeah. laughs> or like also guys. you can... I know the game was different, you have your service, you win. Yeah. Like, I mean, Mace has really good service, but still, if you don't show up, you can struggle even in the Danish league, because yeah. everybody yeah. at least no, can do can this play. three times. Yeah. Yeah, everybody For me, can play just I, I actually know. followed. So, I mean, come on, it's, you cannot even compare the like first I round think, today. Yeah. Like I you think, cannot even compare. I, re- I think the great champions, if they were born today, they would just yes. adapt. Like, if Mace was, yes. uh, grew up now, okay, you would just... Maybe your game would have been a bit different than it was. Yeah, uh, practice different. Everything is different. Exactly. You know more about your uh, what you need physically. I mean, if I look at the young players now, uh, I mean everybody is like ripped and strong. And uh, at that time, yeah. I mean, this nobody. Walter was the first one who brought physical yeah. practice. Yeah. I mean, intelligent Dark physical thing. practice for table yeah. tennis. I mean, and this was you were 20 something like this, I think. Yeah, I know he was with with Japan. Yeah, this was after this physical test. It's funny actually you mentioned uh, like the Olympics. Like, what actually did you feel in, in uh, Beijing? Like you came early, but what was your feeling like uh, in? No, my feeling was just like it was, at that time you were very concerned about the the time difference. Yes. So oh, it's Olympic, you need to come very early because of the time difference and blah, blah, blah. And, and I mean, been to China a million times before. Uh, but I was alone with one coach. And to struggle to find sparring partners, uh, you have a bus trip to the hall every day. And uh, I think I was there 10 or 11 days before. In the village? Yeah. In the village. In the village. Okay. And I was just... Yeah, blowing. Right? I was. Yeah, I just want to go home. Yeah. I just want to play and go home, basically. Uh, of course, I want to win, but yes, yes. I just felt that this was yes. five, 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 yes. five, six, six yes. days uh, extra, uh, too, uh, much. too long. Too long. Yeah. Uh, this, yeah, this was not the right thing for me. Yeah. I mean, you feel like you come and you are like oh, ready, and then so 10, nice. 11 days is just like yes. going. Yes. The when you don't have a team and you don't have uh, like. Sure. You always have to search for company and this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the village is, I mean, it's a little bit, how you say, like school. Uh, like, uh, like in school, you yes. go on a school yes, trip, yes, you know, yes, you, yes, yes. the yeah. bed is bad and everything is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. not like... Uh, yes. Alright guys, that's it. That's the end of this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was very nice to uh, celebrate uh, the amazing career of Maze. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching and uh, of course if you like the content of this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. There's a lot of content that will come soon so stay tuned guys and see you soon.